Hey guys, what's up? Timmy J Tech here, and welcome back to my channel. In this series, I will be showing you how to create your own idle clicker game in Unity. As I've explained in the other two episodes, you'll be able to click on an enemy to earn money and then buy upgrades so that player can use auto clickers. In this episode, I'll be showing you the main components of an idle game and what scripts we will need to complete a working system. There will be a total of four scripts that we will make to put together our game. These will utilize different aspects of our game while keeping it optimized. We don't want to add in too much right away, but we want to have a working game which will include four key scripts. The first one we've already created in the last episode, which is the enemy script. Whenever I say enemy, I also mean animal, because we're attaching this enemy script to the animal, which will hold its stats and keep its image. Unity will take care of the health bar. We want to make sure we have the right image and stats for each object in our game. After that, we're going to want to make the game manager, the enemy manager, as well as the click manager. These are the three main scripts that are going to complete our game. The game manager, which we're going to start in this episode, will have three basic functions. The first one will add money, the second one will take money, and the third one will change the background, which we'll get to in a later episode. When we want to add money, we can simply call that function once say animal is clicked on or herded away or caught. This will make the farmer happy and call that function. If you then buy an upgrade in the game, then we're going to want to use the take money function. You can obviously use these in a lot of different scenarios, but for now we're going to keep it very basic. Later on, we'll learn about the enemy manager, which will create new enemies and handle the defeated enemies once they are clicked or herded in the game. And lastly, the click manager, which will update auto clickers. You'll also have the ability to purchase auto clickers and it will display how many auto clickers you have. Now you're going to want to open up your Unity project. Once your Unity project is open, we'll want to do a little bit of file management. Go into your scripts folder, right click and create the three scripts we talked about. Game manager, we're gonna wanna create enemy manager. And lastly, auto click manager. And I'm gonna change enemy to animal to keep it more uniform with our game theme. So animal manager, I'll have to remember to continue to do animal instead of enemy. Uh, but in general, I think of the duck as an enemy. But, you know, the ducks are very kind and cute, so. All right, now that we have these three files, we're gonna wanna open up the game manager so that we can change what's inside this. And as I explained in the intro of this video, we're gonna wanna have two main functions. One is an add money, and the other is take money. First, I'm gonna set up the file to be more user-friendly. Remove the start and update function. And we also have two libraries that we're going to want to add. I'm going to type using unity engine.ui as well as using TM Pro, which is text mesh pro. There's three variables that we're going to want. We're going to need a public integer money, which is going to hold the money for our game in this variable, as well as a way to display it. And since we imported the text mesh pro, we can actually use that. So we're going to want a public text mesh pro UGY, and we're just going to call this money text. You want to make sure to keep the names very simple so that they're about the same and they easily describe that object. The third variable we're going to want is very important. It will make this script active at any moment and you'll be able to use this variable whenever you need. To do this, I'll create a public static game manager called instance. Then we're going to want to call the awake function for this class. And inside here, we'll just say instance is equal to this. This is a very interesting keyword. It doesn't really come up that often in C Sharp because when you create a constructor, you can say whatever the variable is, is equal to the variable that you've created at the top of the file. Whereas in Java, you have to say instance is equal to instance.this. So it's a bit different, but by creating a static game manager that is equal to this, it's creating this script equal to a static image of the game manager class. So that's very useful and we'll actually use this in most of the other classes as well. Next, we're gonna want to add in the two functions I've mostly been talking about, which is a public void add money as well as a public void take money. And if you're using VS Code, you can use your keyboard to duplicate some lines of code and you can do this by using shift alt and the down arrow key on your keyboard. So I just selected the lines that I wanted or if you have it hovered over a line, it'll automatically duplicate that line. Now we can just change add to take 
and we can fill in these functions. Whenever this function is called, we're going to want to make sure we input a certain number to add to our money. So we're going to want to insert a amount, which is an integer, and then we'll take our money and add that amount. We can do the same thing in the second function. But when we take the money, we're going to want to minus equals the amount so that it removes the money instead of adding it. Then to display this, we're going to want to use the text mesh pro money text. So we'll say money text dot text is equal to a string and I've been using the dollar sign. So I'm going to use that and then I'm going to concatenate money dot to string. We'll convert a number to a string, which will allow us to display it on the screen as a UI component. We can copy and paste this right into the take money function as well because it is the exact same. Once we add or remove the money, then we'll want to display it on the screen. Now I want to make sure if there's any errors, so go into your Unity project and in your console, if it has any red errors or lines, then you'll want to check over the code and make sure that it is correct. And now we can hit play and it won't really do anything, but technically, if we add the function to the duck, if you click on your animal duck, which has the button and the health bar, we'll want to make sure to click on the main component and then drag and drop the animal script underneath it. So now we have a couple options. We can give it an HP, we can give it a max HP, and some money that it will give the player. We can already add in the health bar fill by simply dragging it right into this slot. For our duck, I'll just give it a simple 10 HP, and then it'll give us 10 gold as well. In the next episode, we will write the animal manager, which will allow us to click on the enemy and do damage, as well as once you round up the animal into the barn, you will receive some money. Once it's rounded up, a new animal will spawn, and then you'll be able to do the same process over and over to earn enough money to create auto clickers. If you're enjoying the series, please stick around as I'll have more content coming soon. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.